students and welcome to Zenith Academy online once again. Today we are going to do a very important topic that is carbon cycle. So what is carbon cycle my dear students? First we should understand it is a series of chemical reactions okay, in which the carbon as a chemical element from CO2. You can see CO2 is present in the atmosphere in 0.03 percentage. Okay, So this carbon chemical element carbon okay is removed from the air okay, used by the living organisms like plants and animals for their body processes and then it is finally returned back to the atmosphere so this whole cycle is known as carbon uh, is known as carbon cycle so let's see what happens first step is photosynthesis so we know that green plants use carbon dioxide in the process of photosynthesis okay so, green plants that is the producers use carbon dioxide in the air to produce, to produce we know carbohydrates, glucose correct. So, uh, sugar, starch, anything. So, that way the carbon enters the plant. The second is food chains. So, whenever any animal in this case a rabbit is eating that plant. Okay. Then uh, sometimes what happens some other animal will eat this rabbit or they can eat the plant and the rabbit both. So what happens in food chains? So through the food chains, the food which contains carbon, obviously the food will contain carbon in the, in the form of carbohydrate or any other products. It passes on from plants to animals, that is consumers. Now this carbon forms an essential element of all the body tissues of both plants as well as animal. So another animal that eats any one of them, Okay, then carbon passes on to them. Is that clear to you? So, I will read it again. Through food chains, the food which contains carbon in the form of carbohydrate etc. passes on from plants to animals that is consumers. Now, remember that carbon is an essential element of all body tissues of both plants and animals. Okay, so it forms a part of the body tissues. Then, when these animals respire, Okay, whenever there is respiration happening. So, all plants and animals respire, even, even the plants respire, okay, by oxidizing the carbohydrate that is there, in, that is there which they have taken through food, okay, in their cells to produce energy and then they give out carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Is that clear? All the plants as well as animals respire, okay, in each cell, there is cellular respiration, you know that. Carbohydrate again converts back to carbon dioxide to produce energy. So, this carbon dioxide is again given to the atmosphere through respiration. Is this step clear to you guys? Yes. Now comes the decomposers. Okay. Now it decays. This animal and plant will decay at some time. So, the dead remains of the plants and animals are consumed by bacteria and fungi. That is decomposers. And in this process, they break down the organic matter, releasing carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. Okay. So, they act upon the dead remains of the plants and animals and decompose this organic matter and release carbon dioxide again in the atmosphere. So, you see that decay is releasing CO2 again in the atmosphere. Now, when all of them becomes fossil. Okay. So, next point is fossilization. So, they will be buried, okay, deep inside the layers of the earth with a lot of pressure, they will convert into fossils. So, fossil fuels, we know, like coal, oil, gas, all these fuels are formed by the, the uh, decay and ultimate fossilization of these three, okay. So, this, when fossil fuels like coal, oil and gas, they burn, they again give out carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Now, so when a fuel such as wood or fossil fuel like coal, petroleum or natural gas is burned, the carbon contained in it is oxidized to carbon dioxide which is given back into the atmosphere. And all the fuels named above originally come from living organism. Obviously, all the fuels, all these fuels have come from all these three living organisms. Now, when you heat limestone, limestone is also formed in the same way. So, certain amount of carbon dioxide is released during heating or burning of limestone also in lime kilns. So, limestone which is formed by this 
again from limestone when limestone burns again co2 is released in the atmosphere so this was the whole carbon cycle my dear children i hope you have understood carbon cycle really well i tried my level best to give you a pictorial representation of the carbon cycle if you have understood it and liked the video please give good comments and write in the comment section if you have liked it give it a thumbs up share it with all your friends and keep the learning always on if you have not yet subscribed to my channel do it right away and watch all the parts for it bye bye my dear children